Hey, I'm David, and we're here at the CC Sunlight uh, Volunteer Project today uh, to work on making the county committee systems in New York more transparent uh, for greater engagement. And I'm here with Ben Yee, a uh, longtime New York um, political leader, uh, who's uh, the secretary of the Manhattan uh, Democratic Party. He's going to explain, he's been doing explainers on what the county committee system is, so we're going to uh, help him educate us on why it matters to get involved with it. Ben. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so as David mentioned, I am the uh, Secretary of the Manhattan Democratic Party or County Committee, and I'm also on the State Democratic County Committee, which is sort of the state equivalent of the county party system. Uh, so, what should we talk about? So, uh, first of all, do you want to discuss the basics of uh, how county committees operate in neighborhoods and how it works in, uh, in Manhattan? Absolutely. Okay. This is a super important question and county committees get no love from right. traditional media. Right. So essentially the Democratic Party and really all political parties are broken down into a couple of levels. You have the National Party, which a lot of people are familiar with, Democratic National Committee, uh, Republican National Committee. The committees are the group of people who control how the parties operate and what they do. This is replicated then at the state level. There's right. a state committee with people on it who control the state parties. Right. And then all the way down to the county level. And so the county committee is the most local level of governance for political parties. Right. And what people don't often realize is that the members of county committees, the folks who are charged with organizing on behalf of political party for being the political party in their area, are elected. Right. So the members of the county committee are directly elected by party members in primary elections. Right. And in New York, we have a particularly interesting system. You have county committee and then district leaders. And the county committee members are sort of like the Congress of your local political party. And the district leaders are almost like the Senate of the party. OK. Good. Those, uh, that, that, uh, that structure and those, uh, those analogies make sense. So and what does a typical county committee do? Ah, uh, what does the county committee do? Well, County committee, all of these right. um, elected leadership positions within the parties are volunteer. Okay. Until you get to much higher levels. Right. Uh, so the county committee is really charged with being the grassroots on the ground force for that political party. And if you're wondering, oh, why don't I hear about the Democrat? Where are? Where's the party? Why aren't they doing anything where I live? It's because their county and local party apparatus is weak, and people aren't participating in it. Now, there's a lot of reasons why people don't participate. A lot of it has to do with the fact that people don't know about it. Right. And there are also reasons for uh, a lack of knowledge about these things. Some of it has to do with controlling power. They don't necessarily want you to know. Okay. And some of it just has to do with the fact that people aren't engaged. It can be either one of these things. Right. But the reality is that the local county committee is charged with being the local organizing body. And it has a couple of really important roles, particularly yeah. in New York. Yeah. One, the county committee system is charged with vetting judges that end up going to the ballot in New York City judicial elections, and they have the ability to fill vacancies. That's right. probably the most important thing. Right. Uh, and it, you don't hear about it a lot because it comes up infrequently, but it is a very common way that political seats or political offices get filled in New York, right. which is that when somebody leaves office, before their term is up, there is there's a special election. But in a special election in New York State, there is no primary. So who decides who the Democrat or Republican or Green Party or Working Families Party candidate will be? It's the county committee for that party. Now, if you live in New York City, that means that the Democratic Party candidate is almost guaranteed to win. So the county committee selection of who will go to represent the party in the general, or in the special election, right. uh, will almost guaranteed win, which makes it essentially an appointment. Right. And one third of all state elected officials are chosen in this way. That's incredible. I definitely don't think people know that one third of elected statewide are chosen through this process. It's where insane. Where there's not a public, uh, not a public election. Um, and then how do you recommend that people, we're, we're, we're working to open up this process, and mm -hmm. we're working to which I think it, is fantastic. Yep, so we're working to make it easier for people to learn about the process locally and get involved in their own county committees and run themselves. Yes. Right? So what are some of the ways that you recommend that people sort of approach that, uh, approach those steps in addition sure. to learning about it and getting, and looking up on ccsunlight.org? <laughs> <So, laughs> 
Well, depending on where you live, it will be more or less complicated. Yeah. Uh, Manhattan, I'm secretary of the Manhattan Party, so by dint of the fact that I'm here, you can probably imagine that it's slightly more open yeah. than some other county parties. We're probably the most open and transparent county party in New York City. Okay. Uh, we have a website, ManhattanDems.org. It's not the coolest looking website, but there's a lot of valuable information on it. Primarily, how to contact your district leaders right. and your local political clubs, right. which are largely charged with getting people on the county committee. Now, anybody can run. Uh, it's certainly your right to just go and run, but the clubs and district leaders are really there to guide people through that process and get them involved in the party organization. So you can find all of those folks on ManhattanDems.org. And certainly if you have any questions for the party or for me, uh, you can email ManhattanDems at gmail.com or you can get to me directly at Ben at BenjaminYee.com and Yee is spelled with Y-E-E. -E. Uh, or you can get me on Twitter at YBen or Facebook, Facebook.com slash BenYee, Y-E-E, and Y. Um, in other places, it's a bit more complicated depending on how open they are. There are yeah. websites now yeah. for, uh, I guess, all of the political parties, but maybe not the Bronx. I haven't checked that recently. Yeah. But certainly Queens and Brooklyn have websites, and there are clubs in which you can get involved, New Kings Democrats being one of uh, the clubs that's at the forefront of transparency and reform in Brooklyn, yeah. New Queens Democrats, uh, sort of a uh, and a group inspired by NKD mm -hmm. is doing similar work in Queens. Cool. Um, but the best way to get involved is to go and try and find your local district leaders uh, and find your local Democratic clubs because those are the first avenues by which a lot of people enter. And if they're not particularly welcoming, uh, don't be discouraged. If there's one thing I've learned from all of this, right. it is you must be persistent. I'm secretary now, but when I first got involved and was running a bunch of young people for open county committee seats in Manhattan. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit of a fight. Yeah. But after three iterations, and these elections are every two years, so after six years, then I ended up being in leadership of the county party, and now I'm secretary, and now Manhattan's a very, or a relatively transparent and open uh, right. party. That's incredible. That's a good. That's a good lesson on uh, the the commitment to community engagement. Right. Yeah. And it's not that it even takes that much time. You could invest yeah. a lot of time. In yes. This, but just showing up and yeah. being present at meetings which occur, some meetings occur once every two years, some meetings occur once every couple of months. Mm -hmm. It's not a tremendous commitment, but showing up mm -hmm. and being there sends a powerful message that people are willing to engage in processes which most political establishment and leadership believe uh, the populace will ignore right. because they're not at all interested. Right. So just showing up sends a very, very powerful and important message. Cool. So thanks, Ben, so much for uh, helping contribute ideas and your expertise in the county committee so to, the, to this project. And folks can check out ccsunlight.org for the status of our volunteer and open project and get in touch. And follow YBen on Twitter for more of the Ben Yee adventures around. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks a lot.